Oh, he's got a whole, oh, Darth Vader. He got the whole Star Wars thing going. That's awesome. Let's go. You good? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Here we are, Friday the 10th of August at Industry Rumble. Close your boxing promotions. I'm Kerry Davis. I'm here with Barry Robinson. And in the ring right now, we have Darth Vader, is it, I believe? We have Darth Vader. Legit. May the force be with you. <laughs> well, there we go. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> wow, what an entrance. Well, this will be a first. A boxer represented by Les Mills puts on his seminar. And now we have a Star Wars. Fantastic. So that was actually Steve uh, Kilnai um, from One Gym who came in just as Darth Vader. So, yep, let's see how he goes. And we can't call him Steve the Force just for the hell of it for the yeah. rest of the fight. And we can, we can. And now we've got Ricky Jones going to be coming in as the opponent in their blue corner. I sure hope he's not a Jabberwocky. I can't help it, Kerry. I'm going to keep him coming. He's on it now. He's on it. So he, has, he hasn't come in fancy dress this evening. He's just come as himself. Any chance he shoots a laser out of his fist? Yep. Fair enough. Is that a legal move in the corporate boxing scene? Shit, I hope so. Because let me tell you what. This will be the most entertaining <laughs> thing happening today. <laughs> So who do you reckon? What gyms these fighters come from, Kerry? So these gyms, we've got uh, red corners out of one gym and um, blue corner. We've got another guy from Manukau, which is Flex, Fit, Flex Fitness. Um, right. Manukau, South Auckland. Now, are these experienced fighters? They have a couple of fights under their belt? No, I think these are novice. Let's just hear what the ring announcer says. Ladies and gentlemen, from one gym, it's Steve All right, let's just hope that Blue Corner is not a big fan of Star Wars and he's actually ticked off. Oh, he's forgotten something. He's forgotten his groin guard. Groin guard or mouthpiece? It's groin guard. You don't want to forget that, Barry. That could, that could end badly. Uh, it sure can, buddy. But I hear they have Especially a... Especially if you're fighting Darth Vader. I had to have a really good health insurance situation over here. <laughs> Darth Vader looks focused. Look he's ready him. to go. He's, he's ready, ready to go. go. He's working on his guard. He has the full boxing uniform, but you know, sometimes in basketball, playing on the streets in New York, when a guy comes to the court with the full uniform, generally we know he can't play. <laughs> I don't the, know if it's like that in boxing. They, they call that all the gear, no idea. Hey, wow. Okay. <laughs> we, used, we used to say that in golf. Oh, I okay. need that one. All, all the gear, no idea. idea. Thanks for telling me that because I, I still haven't been golfing, but I'll make sure I'll never wear golf shoes or golf pants and embarrass myself. <laughs> Come just as Tiger Woods and spend most of the spend most of the day in the woods. <laughs> exactly. Okay, I think we're squared away now. He's got his cup. These guys are wearing no headgear, so I guess they're ready to have a go. So yeah, so on these corporate fun nights, the headgear is actually optional. Is that the same in in the states? With the do you, do you have? I know you have said the amateur, the golden gloves, and you have the pro. Um, in England, we have so they call it white collar. Yeah, we have white collar in the States. Also. Do you have white collar? And that would be the, <laughs> same, the same as um, corporate here. Yeah, but they'll have our headgear. And they have to have headgear. It's, you know, there's so much uh, rules, you know, with the, the, the governing body, like the sanction body. So you can't put yes. on an event, you know, safety. Because, you know, we can sue people in the States. Yeah, so, it's, yeah everyone's out to so, sue. So you can take a loss in a fight and you can yeah. blame it on a referee and sue the sports commission. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, whoa, we had an Achilles injury or something like that. Oh, uh, from Darth Vader? Yeah, Darth Vader, he hopped up. I don't know what oh, happened. Oh, big right from Darth. And there's another big one. right. Oh, okay. Well, uh -oh. He's got a special powers, hasn't he? he he's got a great has. form. Great form for Darth Vader. Oh, boy. Nice. I have to say, so far in the first round, can we say it? The force the is force with him. He's definitely with him. Steve Kilnai in the red corner. Oh, treading on his Nikes. Yes, safe to say he has an idea. Ooh. It looks like uh, Blue Corn is starting to loosen up a bit. You see his hands he nice on the back. He figured out his distance there. Nice counter right hand. So he needs to keep putting his left hand out there. And look what happens when he puts his left hand. 
has a little bit of success defensively and offensively. Blue giving himself. Oh, they reset themselves. I like it. A bit of time. Oh boy. So there we go. Blue corner there, just throwing out what I call a cat's paw jab. So he's he's not coming into it, and he's just pouring it out, and he's getting right. countered over the top with the right hand. Right. Also, another thing you got him doing is he's leaning his torso back, so he's off balance most of the time. Good round, good first round there, anyway. From I'm uh, going to go with Blue Corner's gas. He's, he might be done. Yeah, I don't know. is he okay? Is he right, or is, he, is it just a fitness issue? Oh, he looks like he's bleeding from the mouth. Uh, yeah, I think it's a little bit of anxiety, you know. Mate, yeah. Getting punched in the mouth is not the most normal thing that we. That's for sure. It's not the most normal decision you can make, even to go to the gym and training. Yeah. It's literally the exact opposite of what most humans can do. Exactly. Hey, it's today I'm going to go to the gym and allow someone to throw punches at my face. <laughs> it's not normal. And come out with a huge smile on your face after. Yeah. Uh oh, the corner wants to go for the finish. Uh oh, the corner very wants animated, to finish. animated, the uh, red corner man there. He's, he he's wants to it. finish. He said, screw development, I want to finish. So how do you how do you like uh, are you are you wearing the brand the new Z NZ boxer? Do you like their gloves and things oh, like that? Oh, I have done. Yep, I've had a few pair of their gloves. Um, I normally import one over. I get rares or um, right. I like winnings. Gloves, right. Um, all the bigger names out. But NZ boxer gloves, yeah, they, they seem to be cool. I had a nice pair of boxer. Uh, they were micro mitts, but I lost them. It really hurts because I really like them. What, what's the biggest brand over in the states at the moment, uh, boxing gear wise? Gloves or mitts or stuff. Gloves. I think a lot of the kids are wearing. Uh, Lace up Reyes yeah. or winning. Same, and yeah. of course, if you can get your hands on some grants. But right now, yes. you know, because grants are so expensive, a lot of kids are just ordering them custom off Alibaba. Oh, the fake ones. Alibaba, pay me. Yeah. <laughs> How about some stock um, options? There's a big brand in England now called Fly. Oh! What's the name of the brand again? A uh, Fly. F Y uh, F L Y. Oh, yeah, yeah. New, new brand. I, I haven't tried the gloves. Have you tried it? I haven't. No, I'm quite keen to try them. I see a lot of the English boys wearing them. I tell you what. Darth Vader oh, has a lot of balance, a, a lot of patience. Darth and you see Vader. he used his patience there to land that shot. That and, uh, is a big right hand. Very I don't impressive. Come back from that. What do you think? Corners yeah. should stop this fight? Let their man off the hook here? Don't Let's throw him out to, there? It's still Steve Kilnay here. He seems to come out to fight. I don't think he's well conditioned. It. I mean, I'm looking at his body language. He doesn't want to fight. He's going to go on. The show goes on. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't fancy it. Yeah, but I, I don't think I Darth Vader cares. Like, no, he's just going to out to finish him off. It's not over till the fat lady sings, as they say, but um, this one is as good as. But like we said, blue corner, nobody loses tonight. Ah, oh, good up, head and body mixing oh, up there. Oh, boy, That's stop this fight. Let's time. get a towel in there. Yeah, out. Let's finish, get a towel finish. in there. Oh, Don't, you better not count. Get a towel Game in there. Game competitor, Wait, but yeah. He finished the job off there, didn't he? Round two. You know, I have to be honest. I like boxing. I like white collar boxing, but I don't like to see fighters that don't belong in the ring in the ring. And I believe that Blue Corner was a fighter that wasn't ready to belong, be in a ring yet. That's true. Yeah, I and I blame that on there. coaches, not on anybody else. But the coaches have to know better than that. Yeah, I don't know there whether he wasn't conditioned or whether anxiety got the better of him. But yeah, it's not nice to see when they're throwing in that unconditioned because they're. It's dangerous. It's just, yeah, it's dangerous. dangerous and it doesn't look good, you know? No. Yeah. And even there, you see Darth Vader there, he was kind of finished him off. He always felt guilty about finishing him off because it was like right. sitting duck as such, you know? Right. Um, and it's not going to feel that. You want to be in a fight, though. You want a competitive fight. Um, but I'm going to guess that they match these guys because of age? Yeah, potentially, yeah. Maybe one guy is still married, one's coming off a divorce, a little bit more motivated. I know these guys, you know, they've got their certain reasons why they want to do it and whatever, but uh, that was very one sided. I tell you what, Darth Vader came in with the costume, he came in and got the W, and that's all you can ask. If you're going to be a little bit confident, make sure you get the that W, cool, yeah. and he that's sure did. Right. This is what you love about boxing. You see this good sportsmanship, you see the guys showing each other love, and that's what it's about. Yeah, all's well that ends well, yeah. Has oh, he got Ricky, a Ricky Hitman uh, t-shirt on? They're not taking a break. We had one earlier, didn't we? But I don't know. 
Do we have to produce? Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. But... That's trying to take over. Go on. I need a win. Very, very square. Joining us. They, they don't get us any food or snacks, all right? Mark Proctor is coming in. Mark Proctor. <laughs> Uh, post fight interview. Oh. All right, let's come over here. We're here with Darth Vader, uh, the one and only Darth Vader. How's it going? You just won uh, after a knockout victory. Um, was that part of your game plan? Were you looking for that knockout? Oh no, I just sort of, sort of wondered where he was in the first couple of like 20 seconds. I saw that like uh, you know I think the, I found some holes and I just took advantage of those holes. Yeah. Yeah. So, how was training uh, leading up to this? Oh man, it was intensive, you know, four months of hard out stuff, and um, oh, there goes my man Mark. But uh, yeah, hard out, but as I said, it's glad to be here, fantastic event, awesome. Good on you, Bruce. Who do you want, who do you want to thank? Uh, I want to thank Bruce Crozier, thank you very much for putting an awesome event on, Prostate Cancer. You guys, you know, you do a hell of a lot for people, and as well, I want to thank my lady over there, Wendy. And I want to thank one gym and my trainers. And finally, what's next for you? Uh, you might see me back in the ring again. Wow. That'll be great. Congratulations on the win. Thanks, mate. Awesome.